<laughs> My mouse is all over the place. Why is it doing that? All right, let's see. Oh, darn it. Well, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's uh, get rid of the zoomies. Ooh. Yes. Ah, there we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need to add... Gonna be um go. Why is it doing that? Uh oh. Well folks, we may have uh, or I may have identified some sort of an issue. Doggone it. Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> it's just messed up. Alright, let me get that off of there because it's not working. Uh, let me get Hugo booted and see if that helps. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I will be playing uh, Hugo's House of Horrors. This was a game that I played all the time when I was younger, and I absolutely loved it. So let's hope that it holds up. I'm sure it'll hold up. Let's hope I can remember how to do it. It's more like it. Let's see. Dos Progs. Hugo! 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 Triple H. Fox. Alright, there it is. Excellent. Good. Can we stop? Good. All right. Um, so, yeah, this is Hugo's House of Horrors. Um, as I've said, this is a game from my childhood. I absolutely, absolutely love it. I'm just uh, waiting for the stream to start here. There it is. Good. Excellent. All right. I just wanted to make sure that we are broadcasting. So, hello. Uh, thank you for watching. This is going to be very fun. Hugo's House of Horrors, as I keep on trying to say, is a game from my childhood that I absolutely adored. And um, and I am introducing to you now. So, if you've never seen Hugo before, basically what it is, is it is a point-and-click adventure. Um, no, I'm sorry. Not a point-and-click adventure. Um, it's a text-based game. Well, you know, there were in, in the 80s there were a lot of text games, but this particular one um, brought both text and uh, uh, graphical interface as well. So you have to... Okay. Got it. Uh, smash Pumpkin. Pumpkin breaks open to reveal a key. Aha. Pick 
up to the key, okay? And then you gotta tell him to do everything. Unlock. Ooh, I spelled unlock wrong. Unlock door. Okay. Open door. Ta-da! And you can see the score goes up as you go through the game. Go, go in. You go, go. There we go. The score uh, progresses as you go through the game, as you can see at the top there. Um, 23 out of 190. So basically, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, that's kind of how you know you're getting towards the end of the game where you're doing all the right things. So pick up the candle. Okay. Um, one of the common things you can do, you can just look. You're in the hall. It sounds as if a big feast or something is going on in the room on the right. Okay, so we definitely don't want to go in there yet, from what I remember. Um, uh, there's a flight of stairs to the left. So far, your presence has gone undetected. Cool. All right, so let's see. There's a hole here. All right. Look in the hole. I don't see anything much here. Wait! There's a little pen knife lying in the dust on the floor, and next to it, a little silver whistle. Okay. Pick up knife. Oops, knife. Okay. And pick up whistle. I wonder what the whistle is for. Uh -huh. All right. Um, yeah, this is going to be fun. Played this a lot when I was younger, but I figured, hey, it's October, Halloween, let's play some Hugo. So, this is good stuff here. How many people do you know actually know Hugo's House of Horrors? Uh, open door. Not only that, but there was, uh, there's two more Hugo games that I plan to stream at some point in time, so that's going to be cool. Look. You are in one of the upstairs bedrooms. There doesn't appear to be much of any interest, if at all, in here. Well, I doubt that! Open wardrobe. Ooh, what is that? Look in wardrobe. I can see no more than you see at this moment. All right. I know it's a mask. Pick up mask. Some of it is actually coming back to me as I play, so that's very helpful. <laughs> All right. Uh, open door. I can't spell open today for some reason, so that sucks. <laughs> uh, bathroom. All right. Look. You have arrived at the bathroom. Fantastic. How about this? Let's go. Flush toilet. Apparently, our hero either doesn't understand what you mean or doesn't think that would be very useful. So that's going to happen. I don't act, I don't know how often that will actually happen while I'm playing this. Because, yeah, normally you can't go to bathroom. Try walking there. How rude. Uh, get in tub. Nope. <laughs> Turn on water. No, okay. Uh, there is something in the mirror, though, so look at mirror. There appears to be something daubed on the mirror in red. It looks like the number 333, so we will need the 333 later. As I got older... I actually learned that, uh, oh, and don't worry about me reading the text. Let me just be clear. There's not a lot of sound in the game, so it's a lot of me just talking. There's no soundtrack. There's not a ton of sound effects. Um, that music that played in the beginning, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it says at the top, the sound is on, and I can assure you, the sound is definitely on, but there's just not a lot in the game. So the high-frequency cosmic radiation emanating from this room knocks your masks off, mask onto the floor. You can pick it up again when you come out. And I lost my score. Hey, look what's in here! The mad professor speaks. Ah, there you are. I've been looking all over the house for you. Look, you're late, and we haven't much time. Step into the box, and we'll begin the experiment. Okay, cool. Professor beckons you to step into the large cubicle in the center of the room. Oops, so I do. Good, says the professor. Okay, Igor, press the blue button. Igor grumbles something incoherent and deftly presses the red button. You idiot, Igor, roars the professor. That's all I need, a colorblind imbecile for an assistant. Oh dear, I've got a headache coming on again. I've had enough hassle for one day. I'm going to have a lie down. The professor storms off, leaving you alone with Igor. Oh, Oh, the table. Um, let me see here really quick. Uh, let's try look. 
You've arrived in the Mad Professor's lab. There is a strange-looking box connected to a weird machine with flashing lights. In the left-hand corner of the room, there's a little table with an assortment of odd-shaped items on it. Oh, huh, interesting, really. So we're going to say, look at table. The only thing you recognize is a useful-looking rubber bung. <laughs> All right, so uh, we need to get behind the door here. Yeah, I'm behind it now. Get bung. Bung hole. <laughs> and then if you try to leave when you're small, too bad. In your current state, you can't reach the door handle. All right. So, get in the box. Igor, press red. It doesn't really matter what you type in. He's going to push another color button. I'm actually remembering a lot of this game so far. That's good stuff. But if I'm not mistaken, I still can't... Yeah, I'm like rotating as I walk, so I, I still I can't leave yet. Uh, your press blue presses green. Um, if you just type in press and then the color, it doesn't actually do anything. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, look, I'm full of holes. Oh, no, I'm full of holes. In your current state, you can't get the door off. Igor, press red. Blue. All right. Um, what was I saying? Okay, yeah, if you just type in press red or press yellow, it'll say that it won't work because you're not, you're in the box and you're nowhere near the button. So, but if I come over here and press blue, I don't think he'll, yeah, he won't actually do anything, so. Alright, so we need to get our mask. Pick up mask. Score comes back. Uh, put on mask. All right, very good, because we need the mask to go, if you remember, one of the first things it says is it said that it sounded like there was a party in the room to the right, and there is, um, but if you go in there, from what I remember, you will get your head chopped off if, uh, if you go near the butler. All right, let's uh, look. Feast is full swing here in the dining room. Some of the guests look rather ugly. Something tells me this is not a good place to be, unless, of course, you want to end up on the dinner's plate. The dinner plate, the dinner's plate, whatever. Um, so we've got the classics. We've got a Frankenstein monster. I see Dracula, uh, the Grim Reaper, some kind of unidentifiable Wookiee. Here comes the butler. Here for a chop, sir. Uh, very good, sir. Perhaps a little late. Oh, I have to type in yet. That's one of those ones where I have to say yes right away. So, sometimes you have to type in your response immediately. Otherwise, it won't do anything. So, oh shoot. Tell me, I didn't just screw that up because I need that chop. Uh, yes. Oh shoot. Get chop. I don't see it anywhere. Oh no. Did I screw this up? Because I didn't type in yes. Well, he said perhaps later, so let's just hope that, um, doggone it. Let's just hope that when I go back in there, after I do a couple things, maybe I'll be able to let's see. Uh, you can't get the broom for some reason. Get broom. Gonna do some sweeping, are we? Hey, the room must be gripped by some magical powers. Despite your best efforts, you can't budge it. But the broom was just drawn on there, and they're just messing around. You don't get any thinker score here. I don't think there's anything in the cupboards here. Open. Darn, I can't spell open. Open cupboard. You find nothing of interest. Okay. Outside, we say, look. You're behind the house now, in what appears to be a small fenced in yard. To the rear of the garden is a little shed. And I believe you can tell him to climb the tree, but it won't. And yeah, you have to stay on the path. To climb the tree, but it won't do anything. You shinny up the tree, find lots of branches and leaves and stuff, and shinny down again. Good exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Um, open door. The door appears to be locked. What, with a combination? What's a combination? That's three, three, three. Yeah. Another example of me entering or typing in what I'm supposed to do before 
hitting enter, so I really hope I didn't screw this up. Uh, look in shed. Shed seems to have fallen into disuse and is pretty much full of garbage, either broken or rusted to pieces. You are just on the point of leaving when you notice an oil can sitting on a shelf. Get oil. You're not close enough. All right, where is it? Get oil. You're not close enough. This is the thing I hate about Hugo. Get oil. Okay, got it. All right, good. All right, back in the house now. Let me uh, let me do something real quick here. I just realized I didn't share this. I want to send this out to everybody. All right, um, let's try this then. I I really hope that I can get this chop. If I can't, oh, this is gonna suck. Um, ask for chop. Get chop. Yes, please. <laughs> oh my God, I can't get the chop. How do I get him to give it to me? All he's doing is following me around, and I can't, like, I have to get it, because I'll show you why. In this room, there's a dog, and he's going to immediately chase after me. Go back. I have to throw the chop to get the dog away from me. The dog is going to kill me. F6 boss button. I wonder what that is. F9. Never seen that. Um. Shoot. Oh my god. Did I screw this up? Punch Butler. Talk to Butler. Butler is too busy to engage in chit chat. Really? Oh my god. Oh, uh, crap. Um. Wow, this really, really sucks. I don't know. What's F9 do? I'm just curious. Well, that just. <laughs> Crimey. I don't believe that. All right, ladies and germs, I'm going to have to start over. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just screwed that one up completely. So, I've uh, gone it. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry. All right, folks. All because I didn't... All because I pushed enter and screwed up instead of uh... darn it alright let's do this again all because I pushed enter instead of typing yes That's done. Um, I'm just going to run through really quick, get everything I need. Um, what else was in here? A knife and a whistle. I'm not going to read any of the dialogue because that's just going to take more time. I just want to get us back to where we were. I apologize so much. Not a single one of these streams ever goes according to plan, apparently, because, oh my god, I can't believe I screwed up the whole thing with the butler. Alright, I don't get any points for looking at the mirror, so we won't do that again. 
At least I didn't think I did. Oh, I can't get behind the door until I'm smaller. Okay. What a disappointment. I apologize so much. But as you can see, um, having started over, I'm going a lot faster since I remember it, just uh, since I just, you know, since I just did it. So that's a, it's a little encouraging, right? Get bunghole. Bung. All right. Igor, press red. Yellow. Igor, press green. I'm sure if you actually do it in the right order, it's the same buttons every time. Yeah, so he'll, you can actually get him to listen, basically, by typing in what he's supposed to push. Igor, press blue, and he'll press blue. Cool. All right. I don't know. I'm, I'm just curious to know what the experiment is supposed to be. What the professor is trying to do. Oh, the whole point of Hugo as well is um, you come to this house because your girlfriend Penelope has um, w she ca she came here for a babysitting job. Your girlfriend Penelope and uh, she never comes back. Put mask on. Put on mask. Proper English. Um, your girlfriend Penelope goes for a babysitting job. She never comes back. So here comes Hugo to the rescue. So uh, the whole point of this game is to rescue Penelope. All right. Now without screwing up this time, let's get this freaking chop. Butler, right here. Talk to me, please. Please talk to me. Don't do this anymore. Yes. Yes. Thank you. The butler hands you a juicy looking chop. You take it from him with a polite thank you. Oh my god, if you go in this room without wearing the mask, he cuts your head off. Your head literally is on the ground and it's game over. Maybe I should save the game and then... I should, I should save the game, take off the mask, go in there and watch you get my head chopped off. Or let you watch me get my head chopped off. Unlock door. Oh, open door. Combination 333. Okay, door opens. So, oops, and get oil towards the back, right over here. Got it. All right. Okay. The score is still 74, so we're good there. I'm going to need to save before, I think it's, yeah, when I go into the basement, because that will kill me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you know what? How do I do it? Uh, save is F4. Sure. Oh. Oh, here's the story so far. You're in a total control of Hugo's destiny as he searches the haunted house for his sweetheart, Penelope. She was last seen going into this house on a babysitting assignment. There we go. So, yeah, you have to control Hugo's motion with the arrows or keypad. Uh, you can give him simple commands to pick up or look at something which catches your eye. A very useful phrase would be, open the door on the first screen, for example. Others are, look and look at. So, yeah. On your travels, be on the lookout for useful or valuable objects. It may very well best for Penelope. Keep your wits about you, though, since not everything is necessarily as it seems. Oh. Sneak. Sneak game during office hours. Simply shells. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> this button will allow you to keep a game going in the background while you do normal work in its DOS shell. You know, because, you know, everyone uses DOS, you know that, right? So, alright, F4 is to save, so we'll hit return, <laughs> and uh, we'll show our childhood gaming. Alright, uh, take off mask. Alright, so I just saved the game. Let's go in here, and I'm going to show you what happens. Hey, Butler! Hey, come look at me. Look at my face. He's not... Oh. He's not going to do it. Wow. Okay. I was going to say, he gave me the chop. So, apparently... <laughs> well, that was a little unexpected. Apparently, if you get the chop and then go back in without the mask on, he won't kill you. That's ridiculous. Okay, um, throw, I always type this in before I go in, because the dog comes at you way too fast, 
and you don't have any time to type unless you type like 500 words a second. That seems to have caught the dog's attention. It looks like he's going to be rather busy for a while. Look at that. It only took me, what, seven minutes to catch back up to where we were? So look. This is a pretty empty-looking room adjoining the kitchen. The only thing of any interest that immediately catches your eye is a rather large and ugly-looking dog. There you go. Pet dog. Nope. Look. There's a mouse hole in the mouse hole. You rummage around in the hole and feel something soft and slightly moist. Phew! A medium-sized pile of mouse droppings. All right, that was not worth it. So, uh, look at rug. You're not close enough. I'm right on the rug. Okay. Um, look at rug. You see nothing very interesting about it. Roll back rug? Lift rug? There we go. Okay. Look at floor. Nothing of interest. Alright, it's a trap door. Um, unlock door. Open trap door. Trap door appears to be bolted shut. Undo bolt. Despite your best efforts, the bolt refuses to budge. Um, oil bolts? Yeah, there we go. Undo bolt. Undo bolt. Open trap door. You casually throw the mask away since you won't be needing it anymore. See, that always seemed really weird to me, too. When I was younger. All right, we are in the basement. All right, look. You are below the house now. The walls appear to be partly hewn out of rock. To the right of the basement is a large, extremely heavy-looking door. You can hear some the muffled sounds of someone sobbing. I'll bet anything that's Penelope. Uh, ah, open door. Are you kidding? Well, I suppose you had to try. Needless to say, the door is locked. And I was going to say, I was actually going to kind of joke about me opening the door too, but uh, looks like it did it for me. Um, look in window? No. Okay. All right, well, we got to go behind the rocks, and uh, there are bats behind there. So, before, we need to save. <laughs> Childhood gaming, save. All right. Blow whistle. This is what's gonna. Uh, this is what's gonna get the bats to stay away from us. But uh, there's still a definite good risk that a bat will kill me when I do this. So here goes nothing. Uh, oh, I went back out. Shoot. Blow whistle. Darn, this sucks. This sucks. Are these bats? Bat. Go. Oh, get it, get it, get it. The, uh, that seems to have had a strange effect on the bats. Get out of my way! Oh! Hey, what do you know? You appear to have confused the bats. Sense of direction. It must be something to do with their sonar-like hearing. Okay. Yeah, they still come at you right there, so you've got to move quickly. Just like the dog, basically. Cave full of bats. All right, moving, moving on. Not, not number one. Moving on. Oh, shoot. I remember this. Uh, <laughs> I better save it again because uh, this mummy is gonna freaking get me unless I can. If you can. Ah! Gotcha! Mm, gotcha! How careless. You seem to have landed yourself in the clutches of the evil mummy. Well, since it's curtains for you, you'll never be able to rescue your sweetheart. And that's it. The game is over. The game is over. So that's why I saved. Darn it. Can't believe that. Restore. Okay. You gotta get the mummy on the other side of the rock here. Darn it! Alright. You got... Oh, man. How do I get... You gotta get the mummy to get on the other side of the rock. He's so quick. This sucks. I've never had this much trouble getting around this mummy, I swear to God. Darn it! Bag of money there. Look. Any help? 
You're in a cave with a mummy's tomb. No, nope. all right, no help at all. Get money. Well, this is just embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah. All right, got him. He's stuck. Got lucky on that one. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, uh, I looked down at the keyboard just for a split second and I saw. Oh darn. Okay. All right, let's see. Look. You're now in a large open cavern. There, uh, there's a small underground lake here, at the far side of which some sort of jetty and a very old-looking man who appears to be sitting on the jetty fishing. To the far right, at the back of the cavern, you see a tunnel. All right. Oh. Get in boat. I'm afraid the boat has a hole in the bottom. Unless you can plug it with something, this boat will surely sink before you get to the other shore. All right. Uh, put bung in hole. <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> Plug hole. You must be more specific. Plug hole with bung. Bung hole. <laughs> Alright. Uh, get in boat. Okay. And then cut rope. Because we have the pen knife. Uh, push boat. There we go. I uh, should get to the other side. Actually, I better save it really quick because this guy asks questions and I hope I can remember the questions. Get out of boat. Old man is blocking your path. Talk! You ought to be aware that talking to oneself is the first sign of madness. Uh, okay. Talk to old man. The old man seems about to speak. Okay. Ah, welcome to my lake, my fine young friend. I have been waiting for you. I am well aware of your quest, and I would hasten you on your way. However, before I let you pass, I must satisfy myself that you have the experience to handle the dangers that lurk through yonder passage. Okay. To this end, you will permit me to test your mettle with a few questions, the answers to which can readily to the lips of any seasoned adventurer. Be warned, however, that I can only accept your first answer. Another situation where you really need to not hit enter before actually putting in your answer. Um, but uh, I'm really hoping I can just remember the freaking answers. Old man clears his throat and asks... What was the first name of the hero in The Hobbit? Well, Bilbo. Correct. Hey, look at that. Being an adult actually lets me know. Can you believe that there's actually a reference to The Hobbit? Well, I mean, The Hobbit's obviously an old book, but for as popular of a movie series as The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit has become, pretty cool that it's in this game. Uh, next question. Where did Aslan live? Not in a wardrobe. Oh, that's Narnia. Narnia. Correct. Next question. Who invented Count Dracula? Oh, that's Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Next question. What should you do with a pan-galactic gargle blaster? Pan-galactic gargle blaster. I don't know, but if it's a gargle, I... I would drink it? See? And now a riddle. Oh, sweet. What's the name of the only mammal that can't fly that can fly? Um, is it talking about man? Because we're mammals, but we can fly, like on planes? Man? Sweet. Awesome. Uh, there are just two more to go. What's the name of Roy Rogers' dog? Wow. Um... Old Yeller? I don't know. Oh my god. Shoot. Roy Rogers' dog. I have one viewer, and I don't know if you can help me with this one. Do you know the name of Roy Rogers' dog? Because <laughs> this is, uh, this is a little out there for me. Um, I'm trying to think here. Roy Rogers' 
What is Roy? Ro what was Roy Rogers anyway? Wait a minute. I'm going to the comments. Let me see. No. Roy Rogers. Uh. Bullet. Sweet. Did you register this shareware? <laughs> I'll say yes. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Thou art truly a noble and wise adventurer, and I would like to thank you as well for the uh, bullet answer, too. So, Go in peace, my friend, and good luck in thy mission. Get out of boat. Okay. We're back on land. We're at 161 out of 190, so I'm hoping... I think we're getting towards the end. Ah, yes. Let's, uh, talk. You ought to be aware. Oh, yeah. Um, look. You have arrived in a passage with a room at the end. There is a large guard at the end who appears to be standing outside a kind of jail. Wait! Behind the guard, you can make out a familiar shape. Yes, it's Penelope being held prisoner. Ah. Talk to guard. He doesn't understand you. Give money to guard. We picked up that money. You hand over one coin from your little bag of golden coins. He makes gruff noise, which you assume was a thank you, and steps aside, allowing you to pass. Nearly there, Hugo! We did it! Our score was only 182 out of 190, so we did not get everything, apparently. Uh, congratulations! You are so glad to have rescued Penelope, you dance for joy. After cutting her ropes with the pen, with your penknife, you open the bolts of the jail door and find yourself back in the basement. From here, you trip hand in hand up the basement stairs, past the ferocious doggy, through the kitchen, and out the front door to freedom, and live happily ever after. Wonder Bar. Goodbye. That, my friends, was Hugo's House of Horrors. So, clearly, um, I, I remember to very large portion of it from my childhood. Um, I never actually beat it when I was younger. I always needed help um, from my dad primarily, uh, mom and dad both. But um, but yeah, so that was Hugo's House of Horrors. Uh, it looks like it's only about a 20 minute game, um, but I screwed up <laughs> and had to start over. So no, nah, it would have been longer than 20 minutes. I've been streaming now for about 37 minutes. Um, and the first 17, well, I was reading all the dialogue boxes as well. So, yeah, I suppose uh, reading all the dialogue boxes, it probably would have been about a 30-minute game or so. If you skip all the dialogue, and obviously I didn't do everything because I only got a 182 out of 190, then, um, then you know, it, it's a, it is a relatively short game as long as you know what you're doing. But uh, um, there are two more Hugo games in this series. Uh, there's Hugo 2 Who Done It where you take control of Penelope, and then there's uh, Hugo Jungle of Doom. So, uh, Hugo 2 Who Done It, no one in my family ever, like, my dad, my mom, me, we had all three games growing up on three and a half floppy disks, and uh, we, my dad was able to beat one, and I saw my parents beat three as well, and um, two, though, I've never seen them beat it, and I've never beaten it. Like, I obviously played the Hugo games as well, but, uh, but yeah, I was never as good. So, I'll be looking forward to giving it a try, and, yeah. So, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like this video, give it a big old thumbs up, and subscribe to this channel for more childhood gaming. Until next time, I'm out.